is this or is this not like the most overdue video ever i feel like i've not sat down and done like a q a of any kind in the longest time possibly because my podcast was just on such a big pause with everything that was going on with the moving and stuff like that i just literally like could not commit to that and i have missed so much sitting down having a little drink red wine is my absolute favorite thing at the moment and just having a catch-up girl talk q a type vibe with you guys i've been here there and everywhere recently i feel like i just a sit down video is due and i've been doing a lot of get ready with me's and stuff and i just feel like this is the kind of video to also have on while you're getting ready let's just like catch up answer some questions any advice i did say to send in kind of catch up girl talk kind of questions that sort of thing and i've had a little flick through and who knows i feel like we're going to be talking a little bit about sex dating relationships what i've been up to the kind of things that i am doing all of that good stuff so whatever you're doing let's just chill and sit down i'm also very excited because whenever i do these girl talk videos sex dating advice relationship advice type questions come up which I feel very honoured by that you guys think that I just either give good advice, would know about that kind of stuff. You know, I, I feel honoured. And I feel like I also love putting you guys on to like single girly. Actually, do you know what? It's not just single girly. It's anyone that maybe wants to spice up their sex life. I feel like I always have the sex toy plug and today's video i am partnering with lalo i have partnered with them before you guys know lalo are like the goat of sex toys some of the devices that they have just allow you to explore experiment with yourself or like within a relationship take things to new levels their brand is like specifically for people that want to like expand their sexual experiences beyond the like traditional penetrative stuff because there is a whole new world out there that i didn't even know if you're open-minded and comfortable and are in the market for maybe something new Lalo is the brand for you and what better time to treat yourself and all the black friday deals that i'm sure are going to be thrown your way invest in your sex life and a brand new sex toy. Not only are they having like exceptional discounts on their products, but they are also doing like luxurious makeup gifts with purchase. So maybe give your boyfriend or girlfriend a little nudge if you're into your sex toys and you're into your makeup. It's a no brainer. What a perfect gift. So like I said, Lalo are having massive discounts on a ton of their products and a new one I feel like is gonna have all of our jaws on the floor is enigma wave if you could just like take a look at it for a second number one it's just so sleek and gorgeous and when i first looked at this i was like wait what like how's this one working like it's not your traditional you know shaped sex toy that you might think of and i feel like those kind of ones only do so much and for some people that's amazing However, this is gonna take things to another level. I'm holding it like this, but to help you visualize what it might do, I'm gonna hold it like this, this on the top, this inside. It has eight powerful pleasure settings. And the Enigma Wave combines like sonic waves, gentle pulses, okay, for an incredible sensory experience. I feel like that's the way I should be holding it so you can really understand. And it uses wave-like technology to kind of mimic the vibes of like finger-like motion. And if you're like me, that is preferred for me. And it's got three motors for triple pleasure. If I just like turn it on, understand the vibes going on here. Need I say anymore. So you've got that going on on the inside and this going on on the top. I'm sold. I have left the link to that one down below, but they have a ton of toys to experiment with, play with. That's kind of what their brand is all about. Massive discounts and amazing makeup gifts with purchases. Honestly, that's the gift of the season if I do say so myself. Cheers to that. Thank you, Lalo, for creating these incredible toys that just are gonna elevate your sex life, your solo sex life, your relationship sex life. And just allow you to like experiment and explore and just take yourself to new levels. 
Cheers. All the info on that is down below. It's got me in the mood to answer these girl talk questions for you guys. I miss them. I love them. I miss talking about this kind of stuff. Who doesn't love talking about this kind of stuff, honestly? So let's just jump into your questions. Somebody said tips on trying to get back into dating. I feel like you just have to get over the first hurdle. I feel like that's been what I've been doing recently. I always talk about it and like I've been on dates before and I know I really love dates and whenever my friends talk about dating and even if they're talking about like the worst date they ever have I'm always just thinking like oh my god that sounds so funny and like I wish I had a story like that and it's like well how do I expect to have a dating story if I don't even go on dates so I feel like it's like going to the gym once you go once and you remember it's actually not as awful as you thought and even if you did have a bad experience like it's fine don't let that tarnish another time do you know what i mean so i feel like it's just getting over that first hurdle going on your first date and it's always well majority of the time it's always fine and it's way less scary than you thought and even if it is awkward and it's bad then you'll just be one of those people with a funny awkward date story and that's fine Everyone has them. I feel like putting yourself maybe on a dating app if you haven't already. Going out more, I feel like it makes such a difference having single friends. So maybe just trying to hang out with single friends. Maybe like if you're all down to like date and that like that's the intention of the night out is to talk to boys or girls or whatever you're into and just like, you know, that's the purpose. Then make it fun and like set challenges and be like okay not like dares as such but do you know what I mean make it fun like with your friends and set challenges of like you have to ask for three people's numbers tonight or like just something like that and make it fun and who knows what happens but I feel like so much fun happens like at a bar face to face in person like just chatting away to people I just I love doing that with my friends um that's really like the only way to do it. You've just got to put yourself out there because don't do what I've done for like literally the whole of my life, which is just stay inside and be like, why? Like, why don't I have a boyfriend? And it's like, well, Rachel, you need to go out and actually put in the work and find one. Somebody said, since my best friend got a boyfriend earlier this year, she never has any time for me, any advice. <laughs> I've been there so many times. I sometimes think like, oh my God, the day that I get a boyfriend, I can't wait to ditch everyone. The amount that I've been ditched, but I would never do that. I feel like you just have to take that for what it is. Depending on how old you are, it's, we're kind of at a stage in our life where that will always be someone's priority because they're wanting to settle down. And um, so therefore like investing their time in their relationship, which may mean that friends take a back burner. I'm totally there for like friends obviously taking your back burner, like I get that. But to ditch your friends completely for your relationship, I think is just, I don't know, I just feel like you will regret that. Like friends are for life, like who is gonna be the bridesmaids like at your wedding and who's gonna stand up and be like, you know, been your friend forever and all of this when you've ditched them all for your boyfriend, like that you obviously wanna get married to and stuff like I just feel like, as much as in that moment and in that bubble, you must, yeah, be in your, like, relationship bubble. And it's quite easy to forget everything else and everyone that's around you. But, like, you just, I don't know. I just feel like you can't do that. I mean, it happens so commonly. But I just think that's such a shame. And I'm sorry that that's happened to you. But I feel like you just need to either address it. And if nothing changes, then that is what it is. And that's going to be very sad for you. But annoyingly, like, these things happen. And it's probably worth investing your time into people that actually want to hang out with you and spend time with you. And if she's your only friend, then it's time to make some new friends and find some new friends, which, again, is annoying and hard. But there will be people in the same boat as you. You can reach out to old people as well. Like, I feel it's easier than maybe it might appear in your head and you're just scared to do that. There's always people that I want to be friends, like always. Lots of people asking me how I'm feeling since the move, because apparently I look like I'm glowing and I look, and like, how's my headspace? Because I seem to be giving off a different energy. Um, I don't really know. I don't feel like hugely different. I feel like these last couple of weeks I've been going out so 
much because back home a lot of my friends like love going out all of the time anyway and it's always crazy and I've kind of missed the craziness of it all and I'm obviously closer to London and a lot of my friends in London love going out I'm able to go to a lot more events in London and stuff I love going out in London it really is like so fun I feel like that's where all of my like best stories have been it's like out in London um so I'm feeling really good obviously I've moved into a place that is my own and like I've purchased and I feel so proud of myself and just blessed to be in that position and I'm close to my family as well. And I just feel like that obviously just is always gonna make me feel happier. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just radiating in my energy. I'm not, not intentionally trying to do anything like differently, but I'm glad that you guys feel that I am giving off like good vibes. I feel like behind the scenes, there's been definitely like a few times since moving back that has been like actually catastrophic and like something out of an episode of EastEnders. But it's all part of the plot, darling, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Lots of you guys asking about Stevie. Stevie is all good. Can you see him up there? He's up on his podium right now. He's being such a baby at the moment, like really just affectionate, I'm cuddly and I love him like obviously I love him but like I just love when my cat is affectionate with me and he's just being so cute and cuddly although this is after me not letting him sleep with me in my room so maybe that's why it's because I leave him well I don't leave him we're like a room apart but I don't let him sleep in my room recently I haven't been letting him sleep in my room recently because at 3 a.m. he wants to make biscuits on my head and I was literally exhausted last week because I feel bad keeping him in him in here but then he just like disrupts my sleep so much I had to say like okay cuddles before bed but then you're staying in here and then that does make him extra affectionate in the morning because he's obviously missed me so maybe that's actually worked out for the best but no he is all good and settles really well he's always been such a good kitten so well behaved like I've never had any issues with him, like with travel or anything like that. He is the best. Loads of you guys have said to me, boy update from that party. Is that when I said like I was gonna shoot my shot and just like see what happened? <laughs> um, nothing has really come of that in the sense of I shot my shot, we spoke a little bit back and forth and I actually thought I might see them at this recent party but they weren't there. And I thought that would have been like my way in, but they weren't there. So who knows? But I did see someone else at that party that I used to talk to a little bit. So I don't actually really know like that. It's just, it's the perks of being back in London, baby. Sorry, I say London, baby. I've been watching too much friends. Not, it's never too much friends, but recent friends. And yeah, it just all goes down in London town. Someone said we need more outfit inspos from you. I literally am gonna get into my outfit inspo on TikTok. I feel like that's just the easiest place to do it. Maybe like Instagram and TikTok. So make sure you're following me both on there. It's just uh, Rach Leary. But I literally just posted one on TikTok the other day. So head over there. It was a Christmas outfit inspo, even though some of them were a bit like, whoa, but could use them for something else. Loads of you asking me, how's my dating life? My dating life is actually a lot better down here. I feel like, um, rekind <laughs> not rekindled, because that would mean something, it's like progressing, it's not. You know, just seeing the old familiar faces, getting like, I'm actually like going on dates, thank God, because you guys all know I don't do that. So I'm just like putting myself out there a bit more. I feel like going to my friend's wedding, like last month really gave me a kick up the arse. Cause I met people there that like I've never met before and was just like chatting away. And I was like, Rachel, this is what it would be like if you went out to places and actually like tried to pursue people and dated people. Cause yeah, I don't know. Like it was nice getting some like attention and talking to people. And I was like, oh Rachel, maybe you're not as completely disgusting as you thought you were. So go out and talk to people. I really enjoy talking to people. I really enjoy flirting with people. I really enjoy kissing people. So why don't I go out and date? Cause that's literally all what dating is. 
I literally had this conversation with myself after the wedding and I was like, Rachel, why aren't you doing that? So it lit a flame up my ass. I've been going on a few dates recently and that's all I have to say on that because that's all there is to say. Somebody said, how do you take such good photos? Please give a tutorial. Okay, the best, the thing that's I feel like transformed my photo taking game, I take literally all of my pictures on my phone, which is the 13 Pro Max, or I have a digital camera, but I even feel like, I don't know, sometimes the photos on my digital camera aren't the best. I literally take most of them on my phone. And I feel like what makes them the best is kind of editing them in like the phone settings. If you're not like adjusting your shadows and your contrast, that is game changing. The shadows and the contrast, I feel like if you reduce them as then, so that means make the contrast less dark and the shadows brighter in your pictures, everything just appears softer like it looks so good and also my favorite like filter app is the Tezza app if you guys don't use Tezza it's so good they've got loads of like filmy effects and like kind of bronzy filters they have a really good they've got loads of really good presets on there I feel like if you haven't got the app and you download it and like play around with a few pictures you'll be like oh my god my pictures look like so and so because I feel like every Instagram Girlie has the Tezza app, it's so good. And they've got really nice like black and white filters on there. It's really getting me back into my black and white filter game. Like these ones that I edited. The bunny, is it even gonna focus? The bunny from Halloween was on that app. But I also have, um, I sound like I'm on TikTok shop plugging it, but the, like the light is so good. And like, immediately transforms pictures. It's so good. I got it from Amazon. If you go on my Amazon storefront, like I'm sure I've linked it in there or just search phone LED light, game changing. Lots of you asking about update on the weight loss journey, what I'm doing now, et cetera, et cetera. So I really feel like the last two weeks I've noticed such a difference. Like when I was back in Manchester doing my tribe classes all of the time and I wasn't going out as much, so therefore not really drinking, I noticed the biggest difference in like the way that my face looked and like losing weight from my face and stuff like that and just weight in general. And since being back and like not being going to my the tribe classes all of the time, Obviously having a bit of a break because I had so much going on, which I told myself, Rachel, this is not a setback. This is fine. Like you, you're just figuring stuff out. I've just bloody moved like halfway across the country. Like it's okay. It's allowed. I will get back into my routine, which I have. I now go to like a, the da a David Lloyd gym and do their blaze classes. Did I only say blaze before? No, I said tribe. Blaze, which is very similar to tribe. And I'm really, really enjoying it. And yeah, loving them. I've literally been going consistently maybe now for like the past few weeks. So not as long as I had been doing tribe, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. And now this like two week period of like being so busy and partying has come to an end. I've told myself again, I'm really gonna try not to drink during the week, even though I'm having a glass of red wine. Red wine's actually, I was gonna say it's actually fine. It's not, but I wanted a little glass with this video. But I'm really like, I'm sure people will be like, why are you drinking during the week? A lot of my work stuff is during the week and it's events and it'll be like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday up in London and there's drinks there and stuff. So I'm really just going to be mindful that I don't want to be drinking at every single thing that I'm going to because I feel like I've gained weight back in my face. And I'm like, I feel like it's the alcohol and the sugar from it and stuff. So I'm really going to try and cut down because I know Christmas is going to be so hectic as well. And also, again, with the eating and stuff like that, I'm really getting back into the routine of things. Um, I definitely want to get back on my food for thoughts plan again. It was so good having someone keeping me on track. If you didn't watch my original fitness journey, food for thoughts is such a great program, even though they're based up in Manchester. They do it all like over WhatsApp and stuff. So good at just keeping you on track, providing you with a meal plan and making it so 
fun and enjoyable at the same time. You can still have your Kit Kats if you want them. You can still have your crisps, but it's all gonna be balanced and in moderation. And yeah, like they are so good. So I wanna get back onto that and really, really get back in to routine but i'm still focused on it it's still like forefront of my mind that i want to be on the like same routine that i was up in manchester where i was like seeing the best results and yeah like i said the blaze classes that are david lloyd are so good and i'm really enjoying them so that's kind of the update on that i'm not so like heavily tracking myself as of such i'm not like doing any like six week challenges or anything i feel like maybe i will revisit that like everyone says as like a new year's resolution but i feel like that is just like a good pivotal moment <gasps> somebody said i don't know what to buy for my unofficial boyfriend's birthday it's so hard to shop for men <gasps> guys fun fact about me i feel like personally i'm really good at gifts like i'm always giving people gift ideas and i feel like if i was a girlfriend i would give such good gifts i don't feel as if my love language is gift giving I feel like it's acts of service, but I just have a knack for coming up with good gifts, I feel like. So he's your unofficial boyfriend. I don't know, it depends how long he's been your unofficial boyfriend for. You've only been dating for like a few weeks. Oh, I don't think you need to get him anything. And unless you like really want to, then maybe I would take them somewhere, like just out for dinner or something. I feel like that's a really good gift anyway. So if he's, yeah, if he's your unofficial boyfriend, maybe take him to his favorite bar or like favorite restaurant and just like pay for the dinner and drinks. I don't really think you need to like put a lot of thought into a gift, especially if you're not even a girlfriend yet. He's not getting the girlfriend privileges from you of like personalized gifts and being taken to like a concert or something when you're not his girlfriend. So don't stress too much. Keep it simple, maybe just like a card with a really cute message in it. Make the card funny though, like on the front, like a jokey one and a really cute message and take him to his favorite restaurant for dinner. I feel like that is more than enough for an unofficial boyfriend. <laughs> Loads of you are asking me where the scarf was from in this picture. Primark, but like, it was like last year or the year before, but I'm sure they will do why am I doing this like tits? I'm sure they will do new ones, but it was literally only from Primark. Amazing. Especially the color of it because it's always wrapped around my neck. And if a scarf is like any other color, I'm getting makeup on it. But that one's like tan, so you won't see the makeup. So many asking about dating and the dating scene. And I'm really feeling like I need to maybe go on like more dates with different people. And like maybe I need to like just report back to you guys on like the dating scene because it's actually so much better down here. Manchester guys were like never going to be for me. And I think I knew that like maybe a couple of months into living there or maybe like actually when I first moved to Manchester, it was COVID. So I like, wasn't going out or like meeting anyone anyway. So maybe after a year of being there, I realized that the guys in Manchester just like aren't a bit of me at all because everyone up there is literally like a model and it takes themselves way too seriously well that was like kind of the encounters i was having like everyone i don't know like in a relationship i need to be the like i don't know not like i don't know i I, w I don't think I would want to date like a literal like model looking esque man. That's not ever been my type. I don't want, I would just, that's not the vibe. I'm too gross and like weird and don't take myself too seriously a lot of the time that someone that does, it just, we would not be compatible. And that was kind of the energy from up there. Literally the whole time I was in Manchester, the people I hooked up with were, were from like either back home. <laughs> or visiting from London, like they weren't from Manchester. So hopefully that says a lot about now moving back and with my people. It's like, I feel like you're just acc accustomed to a, a certain type of guy when you've lived in a certain area for the majority of your life. Like there is genuinely such a difference between Southern and Northern people, I'm sure, but definitely the guys. So it was a shame that 
in Manchester it just wasn't a vibe. But back down south, it's looking a little bit better. I'm feeling maybe the London vibes. Who knows, maybe somewhere in between. Oh my God, a few of you are saying that you're going through a breakup how to get over a breakup where he cheated, my boyfriend of two years cheated on me, what do I do? Oh, and then this is what makes me think, I don't wanna fucking date anyone because I just hear and watch and just see the unloyalness of these men and I'm like, where are the good ones? Where are they? Like, in this day and age, it's actually so hard and the bar is so low that I think the best thing to do is just, like, date around. I'm not even joking. I don't know what to say about advice about where they cheat and stuff because I have intentionally avoided being in that situation for, like, my whole life because I don't know what I would do. I'm actually quite crazy. And, like, quite drastic and actually quite evil sometimes and you guys are probably thinking like what but like no like i'm being 100 percent serious like if if a got if a man i don't know why it's a trigger for me okay but like if a man makes me feel stupid or like embarrasses me and especially if it's a man that like i like, all of my friends are like, Rachel, you can do so much better than that. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm already giving them a chance and, like, lowering myself according to everyone else. So, like, everyone always ha already has that opinion. And, like, they make me look, feel stupid or embarrassed. I will do probably something quite drastic and awful and, like, really quite, like what like whoa rachel like that was bad like i like i don't know if i should ever like i should admit that but i do do that so don't ask me because that being cheated on for me would feel like the highest level of you've just made me look so stupid because i'll start to spiral because i'll be like did did the girl that you like were doing things with know about me does she already follow me on instagram like so were you guys talking about me and then you have to think about the lengths that they went to to do that like they were texting they were meeting up like it depends on what the cheating was as well because if they if it was like a one-time thing like and it was just like a kiss then okay like hmm. okay we'll argue for like a couple of weeks but we'll probably get over it but if it's like a, a case where they've like slept with someone else I would just start to spiral thinking there were so many probably points where you could have stopped that from happening and you didn't. That makes me feel sick. I feel embarrassed. Like, do you see where I'm going? So actually, cheating advice, don't ask me because I would probably end up like sleeping with their dad or something. <laughs> like that's the kind of thing. Or I would if like like find out like I, I could trick like I don't know, like I would I, my mind's escalating, it's best not to ask me those sorts of questions, but like, can anyone relate? Can someone like, can people like, maybe I need to do another of my confessions video and people can confess like the bad things that they've done. So then I know that like, I'm not the only one to like react really drastically when someone embarrasses me. <laughs> Lots of you guys asking about career plans. Now I'm back down south, more presenting gigs ahead. It's so hard to like put yourself like out there for those things when you don't really have like a huge amount of experience. But luckily I have like the best team behind me and I feel like moving down here and attending more events and meeting like the right people and stuff is definitely gonna put my foot in like the right direction. I know I had a few in the past and now I've like done all the moving and that's about the way I'm 100% settled now. It's definitely something that I want to revisit and definitely something that like I want to be doing more of. So don't worry, I'm always putting the feelers out to brands and people. I feel like I need to be a bit more chatty on TikTok. I feel like that's the way to do it because that, yeah. And I am a very chatty person. You guys know if you watch my videos, 
so chatty and I feel like that's why you guys always root for me so the best way to get noticed these days is just on TikTok so I know there's a whole world out there that's not been introduced to me yet so maybe TikTok is the way I mean so many of you guys are saying to me please bring back the podcast which makes me so sad but like happy at the same time oh it's just when you do Instagram YouTube TikTok to a certain extent and having a podcast it's a lot especially when you don't have like a big sort of team behind you and it's just you on your own like it is really hard to manage all of those platforms like it's a lot and I kind of just like to focus on where my audience is the biggest which is like YouTube and Instagram and stuff even though Instagram just sucks but like I will always be committed to my YouTube fam first and foremost so yeah it's a sticky one I do miss it like so much like talking and stuff which is why maybe I just want to bring back more of these like chatty girl talk type videos because I really do love them. Loads of you guys also ask me like what my type is. And if you know me, you know I have like a few different types. So tell me if you guys can relate. At the end of the day, if I find you attractive, I just find you attractive. I'm more going off like an energy that you give me and just like that sort of thing. But physically I have like different categories of people that I find attractive. So I don't necessarily have a set type for example i like um kind of like maybe indie sort of looking guys like your average joe like medium brunette kind of guy that would like worship the ground that i walk on that's one of my types really love that and i just think they're the sweetest and the cutest and that will probably be the kind of guy that i end up like hopefully like marrying or like dating but then i also love a big 50 cent looking man but that's also like the kind of man that i attract i also love um a bald older man <laughs> like pitbull looking vibes if you know me you know that like an older guy maybe like stocky bald beard um you know that porn star called like johnny sins my type to a T, like that kind of vibe. I have so many different types of men that I find attractive that, yeah, I just don't, I don't have a type. Just go off the energy and my first glance at you and if I'm like, oh, or like, oh, or oh, it's gonna depend on maybe where that progresses to. Some of you guys have asked about me and my boob reduction situation and like do, is that still something I'm looking into? So actually before I left Manchester, I had a consultation with a surgeon just to kind of see like what my options were. As I've like lost weight, annoyingly I have lost like weight from my boobs, which, but like the size of them hasn't changed as such, but the volume has. So I just feel like they're a little bit like less full than what I would like them to be. And the surgeon said that essentially I'm eligible for like a boob reduction and lift. And he was showing me pictures and I was like, my thing is that I want the volume back. So like, yeah, you could lift it up as such, but I've now lost like fat from there. So like, yes, lift, but like, I want the volume. So I said, could I get like a reduction lift and an implant and he is basically saying currently no because you still have a lot of tissue in there if we were to put an implant in there as well he was like you would feel like your tits are gonna like burst like they would just feel so tight and not natural like they just wouldn't feel good so i was like explaining that i'm still on like a weight loss journey and he basically just said to me like if you're still on a journey keep going like annoyingly for me it's probably gonna like look worse before it could get better like I need to keep losing the weight if I want the boob results that I want which is a reduction lift and possibly an implant because I want the volume so I'm just continuing with my exercise journey at the moment and just seeing where that goes and how that goes and yeah that's kind of the update on that like I'm just gonna keep losing 
the weight from my tits in order to be able to get the volume back from possibly an implant. But again, also if you keep working out and doing the arm workouts, you might get the results without having to have the surgery, you know? So that's always a possibility to consider. Okay, I'm gonna end on a question. They're all so saintly. You guys all won. Sorry, why did someone ask me how to get a boyfriend? As if I know. As if I know. I've like never had one, so don't ask me. Ah, uh, lots of like body confident questions. And I feel like I always get asked questions about that. And I feel like it's a compliment at the same time. And I, maybe I give good advice about it. I feel like I give the same advice, but honestly, I just think it's so true that just the right person won't give a fuck, right? They genuinely won't. Your body is like such a small part of like what makes someone a good person. And that's kind of really all that matters. I know that's so like, oh yeah, but like you want to feel and look sexy, right? Okay, so get yourself some gorgeous slinging underwear, okay? Even if that involves wearing, you know, like a full body, body suit, like what they call like a, yeah, like a lacy body suit or something. If the, if your belly's what's making you uncomfortable, cover it up, like in the sense of, but still in a way that's like sexy and you'll look sexy. And I feel like when you're like lying down and stuff, like those things just like don't matter. Honestly, like I'm trying to keep it as real as possible here. like. I'm trying to think like what I kind of do. I love putting like a bit of like body shimmer on myself, a bit of bronzy body glow. I love, yeah, new underwear, sexy underwear, even if it's like some frilly little shorts that kind of like look part, like, so maybe like pajama type vibes that they kind of like look part of like your underwear to wear while you're getting into it. Like there's so many things that you can do. Don't feel like you have to be like, start naked in like a tiny bra and a thong if that doesn't if that's not what makes you feel comfortable comfort can i fucking speak comfortable and confident don't do that like literally don't wear what you feel the most confident and comfortable in and there'll be so much out there have a little browse and like treat yourself and you'd be surprised like if like men aren't all perfect either and at the end of the day I feel like as long as the sex is like good like who cares what anyone looked like while it was going on people just want to have a good time at the end of the day and it'll be something like hard to like overcome but the more relaxed you are the more you will enjoy it and you will never be relaxed if you're focused on like everything else that's like happening around you and including what you look like and stuff like just get yourself some mood lighting and have it down turn the lights off like do you know what i mean there's so many things that just like can help you and like therefore your body like not be the main focus of like what you're about to do honestly and also i feel like this might be a bit out there and rogue but if you are into like watching porn and stuff like when it's like your alone time and stuff don't watch unrealistic stuff where neither people involved in whatever's going on look like you or like the kind of people that you're into. There will be videos on there where the women look like you or like so whatever that is. And you should watch that, see what they're doing, see how nobody cares like while that's going on and they're having like the best time. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I feel like the more kind of like home style videos are good at that because it's real people like having a good time and just think about all the people in the world, all of the bodies that are in the world, all the people that are like married and like have got to that stage and like there, but like just like it's so much easier said than done, but like try and think about the bigger picture of things and how like, yeah, the right person won't give two shits about your belly or like your saggy boobs or whatever it is that you're feeling insecure about like they won't they genuinely won't and when you find that person and they make you feel good about yourself like 
hopefully that has an impact on you and your self-love as well oh my god you guys this was so much fun and immediately i need to like film another one of these videos and do these again because i miss them and i feel like this is a nice long chatty video catch up girl talk my favorite things do not forget to make the most of the Lalo discounts i will leave a link down below for that enigma wave they are having some incredible black friday discounts and you've got that luxury makeup gift with purchase so give your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever a nudge and say that's a fucking sexy present for christmas i love makeup and i love sex toys and i want to use at least one of them with you so what a great gift have a little browse anyway and like i said if you're kind of into exploring having that alone time and like really just like elevating it and not doesn't even necessarily have to be alone time if you're wanting to spice things up they will have something for you that is not your basic well, actually they will have basic and boring things on there but their brand is all about exploring and elevating and if you're open to that kind of stuff they have some incredible stuff that is probably gonna blow your mind and your socks off so it's worth investing in and it's worth making the most of the discount so it's all linked down below i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i've missed these kind of chatty catch-ups with you and i'll see you in the next video cheers Bye. You really caught my eye when I hit the town seeking out.